now the next day and I just finished getting ready. This morning I washed my hair and I just Dyson curled it and then I did this little braid crown. I've started to get really good with braids. I'm so proud of myself because younger me would be like, how are you doing it? Because I used to spend like hours trying to learn how to braid. And honestly, it's probably one of the best hairstyle skills I ever learned to do. I love this outfit. I think it's really cute. This little flower midi skirt is from Pull and Bear. This top is from Bershka. Mickey Mouse tote bag. This is also from Pull and Bear. And I only wear it like this. It is such good quality. Coin purse. This is from Brandy Melville. And then just my AirPods. I've been starting to wear this perfume a lot more. And honestly, I'm so obsessed with it. Never gotten tired of this perfume. It's always been my favorite. So I'm going to just put like a few pumps of this one on. That's probably more than a few. And the Coconut Passion by Victoria's Secret, Bloody Mist. <laughs> And me and my boyfriend just decided to have like a casual McDonald's kind of date today We just went to Starbucks and I got some coffee and literally is the best boyfriend in the world He took some content photos for me for Instagram as I needed to host Also, I'm like so obsessed with my fit today So I really wanted to get some content photos in my outfit If you are a content creator like myself have like a thousand different angles and close-ups of like the food or the drink Just for the photos to like turn out and also you guys should like totally go follow me on Instagram It is at Sienna Summer 22. But yeah, we just came to McDonald's right now. Today has been honestly such a nice and chilled out day. I'm here for it. I love spending weekends like this. Also, I'm super excited because I actually finished school officially this year in like two weeks. So I'm just trying to like take things day by day. As I know, this intense studying amount is definitely going to kick in. There's a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by weather hasn't been the greatest today which means that my wi-fi in my house is completely out so really this gives me no other reason to not finish this book today i have been reading this book for the longest time now and i need to just be more consistent because i'm all about forming healthier habits and i need to be able to finish this book or i'm just gonna be very mad i did just take a little reading break and i just made some lunch i've been so obsessed with eating this specifically today i just made like a rice bowl again and you can literally be so creative with them it's similar to egg fried rice but with like not fried but with vegetables inside so I've got peas egg rice and then I've also just put some sauces and seasoning inside so easy to make and they're so yummy and so filling so I made one of these today for lunch as you guys can see I've only got this much left so I think I'm just gonna sit and binge read like why not there's so many books I want to read and I'm just so stuck on this one and I can't not finish it so I'm gonna finish this I've also been editing this video throughout the weekend and guys I'm so obsessed with how it's coming together romanticizing your life and making Making everything fun is such a positive way to look at life and that's kind of the concept of this video but right now I'm gonna eat my lunch and then I'm gonna finish reading this book and I'm gonna give you guys a book update because I'm gonna hold myself accountable <laughs> Let's just disclaim the little nose patch situation I've got going on here. Also, I'm trying out something new with my hair. It is now literally two days later and I finished reading November 9th. This generally took me so long to read. I know it took me up until where I started off in this video. I was really bored of the book and I probably could have been more consistent with it, but I was very bored of like where I was. But if I kept reading at the time three more pages, I would have gotten to the last quarter of the book where so much happened and so much heartbreak took 
place and it was honestly such a good book I was crying my eyes out to me that's when I know it's a good book if the book can make me cry reading the book that Ben was writing towards the end genuinely shattered me into so many pieces and I just felt so bad for Fallon I absolutely love this book I would 100% give it a 10 out of 10 5 out of 5 stars and recommend it to any of you guys that loves a good cry romance whatever it may be this book was so good I'm so glad I finally finished it started reading the Spanish love deception today I stopped it last summer and I just restarted it now as it's been sitting on my shelf for a while and I thought I'd give it another go but I'll let you guys know how that goes in like my next video right now the sun is currently going down and a craving to bake something today I'm gonna go make some strawberry muffins put on a podcast watch some YouTube do something like that and just kind of unwind and relax my strawberry muffins I just took them out almost 10 minutes ago so they just finished cooling off but I'm so proud of myself like they just look so tall and pretty guys look how tall and like puffy they are I'm so obsessed and inside they have strawberries inside so we're gonna do like a little taste test and we're gonna cut one open and see what the strawberries look like and honestly I was really worried about the strawberries weighing down the mixture but I did the correct recipe I'll link the recipe down below I've never made cupcakes or muffins like this before I'll open this one because it looks just perfect they are so good I'm so obsessed <laughs> 